It's Tuesday, it's April 19th. Hey there, I'm Ashton Altieri. Well, fire danger is gonna be the big story in Colorado today because we're gonna have a lot of heat. Temperatures close to 80 this afternoon. So really no surprise, red flag warnings are back considering how dry it has continued to be. Portions of the Western Slope, most of Southern Colorado, most of the Eastern Plains and the foothills of Jefferson, Boulder and Larimer counties included here as well. This does jet out into Fort Collins over toward Briggsdale and then down here along the Palmer Divide, Castle Rock, uh, Parker, Southeast Aurora, Kiowa, Franktown, etc. included as well. The immediate Denver metro area has been left out and fortunately the wind will not be too strong today, but wind gusts could still reach between 30 and 40 miles per hour and combined with that low humidity, obviously the fire danger is high. Look at these temperatures, upper 70s to near 80 today. The record for uh, the 19th of April is uh, from 1961. It's 83 degrees. I don't think we're going to quite get that warm. Uh, we will be closer to 90 down here in southeast Colorado, 50s and 60s throughout the mountains today, and 70s on the western slope. Rockies game two with the Phillies. Red hot Rockies lately. What's going on with them? They just keep winning. Uh, first pitch, 68. 640 this evening, partly cloudy, breezy, and mild in lower downtown. For tomorrow, temperatures drop about 10 degrees behind a cold front that uh, just moved through Boise, Idaho early in the day here on this Tuesday. Based on the pace of that front, should reach Denver no later than 1 or 2 a.m. tomorrow. And then as the front moves it's through, the, through the Midwest uh, tomorrow, into Thursday, it's going to tap in all this golf moisture. Just not fair. They don't have to deal with the fire weather concerns because they just get so much more moisture than we do. There's no moisture available for that front as it moves through. And that's all geography, right? Since we've got land south of us into the country of Mexico instead of water in the Gulf of Mexico. So not much moisture for Colorado. Dry through Friday, there is a stronger front that'll roll through Friday night. That one should be able to tap into a little bit more moisture and we'll at least get some snow in the mountains going into the weekend, but not much moisture appears at this time for Denver in the front range. Speaking of moisture, overnight tonight in our high country, it's possible we could get a few orographic snow showers, snow caused by the mountains themselves. They're going to squeeze out whatever that front's got to deliver, which is not going to be much. So maybe up to two inches in Steamboat, possibly an inch in Craig, that Highway 40 corridor up there. Elsewhere, it's going to be tough to get much accumulation in the mountains, but some of the higher peaks and passes will do okay. First alert weather day on Friday with that next front because we do anticipate extreme fire danger just before the weekend. And then cooler behind that front with 50s on Saturday and Sunday, 50% chance for scattered showers on Saturday.